Today we are going to be talking about Sir Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton was an English physicist and mathematician, as well as being a key figure in the scientific revolution. Now that we got the boring stuff out of the way. So he was super smart, congratulations. He invented calculus, so I understand if you hate him. I kind of do too a little bit. And he got a lot of things named after him. There's an entire Wikipedia page that's just lists of things that have been named after Isaac Newton. He was born premature on Christmas Day. He was like 11 to 15 weeks early, so they definitely thought he was going to die. But he didn't until some 80 years later from mercury poisoning, probably. He liked to mess around with alchemy, which back then they didn't know that alchemy wasn't science. But as a result of all of his alchemy hobbies, he got mercury poisoning, which made him a little bit crazy. He would like forget to eat because he was so excited about his math stuff. He hated his stepfather. He would make lists of all of his sins, and one of those sins was, I would like to burn Mr. and Mrs. Smith down in their house, too. That was his mom and stepdad. Isaac Newton didn't handle criticism very well. So he writes this book called Optics, about color and light and the eyeball. It completely revolutionized everything that we knew about light or something. He even stuck a needle, this is crazy, he stuck a needle in between his bone and his eyeball, prodded it around back there to see what would happen, and I guess that taught him a lot about light. I mean, he also looked at prisms and like did other stuff. Anyway, so he writes this book, Optics, it's getting great reviews. He's being asked to go do all these lectures. This one guy, Robert Hooke, was like, here are my criticisms of optics. If somebody doesn't like my book, well, I will never speak about it again publicly. No more lectures about optics. He was in the House of Parliament for a year, and the only thing he ever said during any of the debates was, close yonder window. It is a cold draft coming in, and I... It's chilly. Albert Einstein really liked him. Albert Einstein had a picture of um, Isaac Newton on his study wall. He had an intense relationship with a male Swiss mathematician, which ended abruptly and mysteriously, and then was followed by Newton having a nervous breakdown. On top of all of his scientific research, checking why apples fall down and not sideways or upward, he studied the Bible obsessively for hidden messages, and he didn't find any. He did draw the conclusion that the end of the world would happen no sooner than the year 2060. The only reason he publicly made this conclusion was to discredit any fear mongers. Well, sir, I work for the church and I've discovered that the world is going to end in 1825. Actually, I have obsessively studied the timelines laid out in the Bible and it says nothing about the end of the world possibly occurring before the year 2060. <laughs> he was invited to give a lot of lectures. If nobody showed up to his lectures, which would sometimes happen, he would just still give the lecture to the empty room. After Isaac Newton died, one of his teeth, here's Sir Isaac Newton's tooth, and it was sold for the today's equivalent of $50,000, and then they had it made into a ring. <laughs> like, do you like my ring it is the tooth of sir isaac newton inventor of calculus and universal gravitation thanks for watching tune in next time to learn all about hillary clinton don't forget to subscribe see you next time and until then live long prosper and be kind to animals